everyone and welcome back to Art with Miss Cho. Today we're going to be focusing on the artist Alma Thompson. She was a famous African-American painter who focused on colorful, bright, abstract paintings. She was an expressionist painter who lived and worked in Washington, D.C. She was an art educator and her work really focused on you know, the same things she saw around her, the colors that mattered to her, and she was really a force in the art world as well as the education world. So, you know, I'm going to show some pictures of her work so you can kind of get an idea of what we're going to be doing. And let's go ahead. If you have paint, if you have paper, if you have markers, color pencils, whatever you have, we're going to be doing it our way, but with her in our mind. So grab your supplies and let's get started. So I'm going to be using paint today. I'm using a watercolor. So when you're using your watercolor, you want to make sure I just keep this tray around and you can let it dry on there if you have the watercolor in your tubes or um, if you have your palette of watercolors, then I just leave them out to let them dry. So I'm just wetting my brush to activate the paint. I've heard some of my students say, oh, my paint you know, it's, there's not, even if there's only a little bit of paint like this, that's enough to activate it and to use it. So Alma Thomas, as we've seen in the photos, her work, we can do lots of different paintbrush sizes because we're gonna just be making dashes. We're gonna pick up and leave space in between. The space of the paper will help tell the story of our drawing. So. We can do short marks, we can do longer. And you notice I haven't even gone back to my paint yet. I can change the direction that it's going in. Do longer. And I'm doing calm lines. And I can go ahead now if I want to change up my color. Now I'm just kind of thinking of a little sunset or maybe, I don't even know, I could have had an idea before I started, but I'm just letting the paint kind of inspire me. I like how that black mark went through, I actually enjoy that. We're just making dashes long, short. That's up to you. They can change up as they go. You can add more space or less space in between. Sometimes I have an idea of what I'm making beforehand. When I paint, sometimes I let the idea come as I go. You don't always need to know what direction you're going in. You can let the things you've seen inspire you. You can let the environment inspire you. But remember, I do think it's important for you to come up with your own ideas. Even if this is what I'm painting, you can take this idea and go your own direction with it. I'm leaving some more space in between my mark, so maybe I can change up my brush. I can change up my angle of my brush. I can change up my color a little bit more. I'm adding some blue to my green. But I'm sticking with the same style. almost kind of like brickwork. I'm playing with the angles of my brush. And change up my color there now. And we all 
circle back to this. Maybe it's the sky. I want to see how creative you can get with this technique, with this process, what can you create? Play with your mixing of colors, even if you're using a marker for this. You can layer your colors. I just created that color with some green, some purple, and some blue. I like that one. And there we go. I really did end up just letting the brush kind of take over the idea and let Alma Thomas really speak through and let her inspire me on this painting. I hope to see you guys do the same thing. I want to see where it takes you. So I hope you had fun creating your Alma Thomas drawing. Pepper want to come say hi. So let's see how mine turned out. You can see all those beautiful lines. I just let the brush do the talking. You can change up your brush size. If you're doing it with marker, you're on the tip, you're laid back. Try different sizes on that and see how it turns out. I can't wait to see them and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.